Hey O'Gage fans, this is Joe with another video talking about the MTH's DCS Commander. And one of, I got a couple of questions on my videos and, uh, I, and I answered some of them, but uh, I was looking around on the OGR forum and looking at some past posts and they were talking about um, doing lash ups with the Commander. And I was under, you know, I didn't think it could be done, like I mentioned on my other videos. Turns out, it actually can, okay? Now let me show you what I got going on here. I've got those two engines right there, okay? These are the only two engines on the track right now, and they are lashed up, okay? I got that RKS SD70, and then behind that, I have that RKS SD45, the Pennsylvania Railroad one. They are lashed up, okay? And... They are the only two engines running on the track right now. I've taken all the engines off the track, and there's a reason for that. Okay, so what we're going to do here is, we've got the two engines going on the track. I'm going to pan down here to the commander here. Move the camera over a little bit. Okay, now, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to power this up. Okay, commander comes to life, as you can see. And I've gone through all this stuff before. I've got to bring power to the track, hit DCS. Okay, I've got power to the track. Now, Normally, what you would do now is you would hit engine and you would scroll through your engines to, you know, to work your engines to whichever one you want to uh, control. But I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hit this all button right here. Okay, this all button. Okay, now it's kind of hard to see here, but if you look on the the uh, control panel here, all is highlighted right there. I know it's kind of hard to see. There's a a shadow there, but all is uh, highlighted right now. So now, what does that tell me? That tells me anything I do with this commander, anything at all, is going to affect both of those engines that I just showed you before, okay? That's the reason why they're go both going forward. You can't isolate one in either direction. I mean, I haven't figured it out. Maybe you can, but I don't think you can. You can't really isolate the engines together. Another thing you can't do is you can't actually remotely build the lash up, as far as I know. Now, you have to actually physically put the engines together, as far as I know. Okay, now, obviously what you can do is you can run your engines, you know, individually. Go ahead and set them up, okay? You can do that, and then go into all mode, and then run both of your engines at the same time. You can do that, okay? But, um, like I said, you have, to, you have to set your engines up, run one engine, set it where you want it to be, bring the other one engine in, set that one up where you want it to be, Couple them together, and, the, and then you can go and you can um, hook up your consist. Now, since they're both going in the same direction, because anything you do on the commander is going to affect everything, any of the DCS engines you have on your track. So, you really can't isolate one in one direction and one in the other direction. As far as I know, I mean, as far as I know, you can't do that. They, they kind of both have to be um, going in the same direction. Now, back to the commander here. I'm going to hit uh, startup. And both of the engines, you'll hear the sounds come to life, okay? All right, that's both of the engines right now coming to life, okay? And I'm going to stay focused on the engine. I'm going to, I'm going to put uh, the headlights are on. I'm going to start up the smoke on both of them, okay? It'll take a minute for the smoke to come up. And what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to get this thing going here. Bring it up to about, okay, that's just random chatter you're hearing, you know, that's just the random chatter you would normally hear. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to start this up to about 20 scale miles per hour. And, as you can see, we got a lash up going. So, yes, the commander does do lash ups. And not quite as limiting as I thought it would be. Like I said, you can go ahead and you can run your engines individually, park them in a, park one on a track, go to the other engine, park the other engine, and then you know hook your lash up up that way, you know. But right now they're both running together. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna hit some commands here to whistle. If you listen, you can actually hear both of the whistles going. I'm going to hit bell. If you listen carefully, you can hear actually both of the bells going. I'm going to turn them off. But uh, yeah, the commander does do lash ups. 
go ahead, I'm going to turn the smoke off. I'm going to bring this down. Now, I'm not going to bother going through all the, 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 the sound effects and all that, because, you know, it, it, that works just like if you were running a singular engine. I'm going to shut down here, shut both the engines down at the same time. So, like I said, I'm not going to go bother. I'm not going to get into, you know, the, 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 the sound effects keys, because, you know, it does all that. I've shown you that before. It'll do it with the two engines, just like it does with the one. Now, now as far as this goes... Like I mentioned before, nowhere in the manual or anything did it say you could do lash-ups, okay? But, obviously you can, and I just did it. Now, whether or not... See, you're actually controlling all the engines at the same time, but I'm not exactly sure if you're actually controlling the engines as a single unit, like you would be with like the Lionel Legacy system or the, the the full DCS system. I don't think you're controlling the engines as a single unit. I think all you're doing is, by hitting that ALT key, I think all you're doing is just, uh, it's just telling the, it's just telling the, the power to, to, to go to all the engines at the same time, okay? I don't know if this is good or bad for the engines, okay? I don't know if if the commander, doing this with the commander by using the all button and lashing the engines together I don't know if that's good or bad for the engines. I probably won't get into doing a lot of that, okay? Uh, I have a small layout, 5.5 by 9. So I don't see myself using lash-ups that often. I'm not sure I, I would, since, you know, since it doesn't really tell you in the, in the manual, you know, that it's okay to do it, I'd be a little hesitant on recommending doing it. But as you can see, it, it seems to do it just fine. You know, I just did it, and that's not the first time I've done it. I've done it, a, you know, quite a number of times. That's not the first time I've done it and, it, and it does work. But, again, since it doesn't say so in the, in the manual, and, and, and the, the way I found out is I went out to the OGR web forum, I, I, I did a search on MTHDCS Commander, and that was one of the posts that came up. You know, one guy said, just lash the engines together and hit the ALT key. And, you know, sure enough, it worked. I wish I came up with it by myself, but I didn't. So I guess my final word on the Commander is I'm still learning it, obviously. And it does do everything that I want to do. I want to do. It really does. Um, do I wish it was more versatile? Sure. Yeah, I mentioned that before. But you know, if affordability or money is a factor, and you want to get into DCS, and uh, like in my case, I couldn't find the full DCS system, this definitely might be something you might want to get into. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is when I do my new, my new layout with, using the MTH track and I'm going to have more loops, and it's going to be a little bit more interesting to look at. You know, I'm not going to rush out to buy, you know, the full DCS system, because so far I'm really enjoying this. It's really doing everything I need it to do. So I guess my final word on the Commander is I still would recommend it. I still really like it. And I hope I'm not boring you with all these videos on the Commander, but again, questions were asked, and I thought I'd answer them. So, um, you know, thanks for watching.